You want to dance the mask, you must service the composer. It's lovely to meet both of you. Hello. Uh, I love the film. I thought it was uh, just you, you just you get sucked into sort of the, the psychology of the vortex. Yes, exactly. The tar vortex. Mm. Um, and it was interesting because I was reading uh, different takes on the film and there was one that was quite uh, interesting to me. And I want to get your opinion on it. And it was that everything that happens after Lydia comes out of the building in Berlin is sort of uh, a f- not real. And there's this idea that after she's attacked by the by the animal, that that everything is kind of magical from that point, and maybe in her head, or maybe not really reality as as we've been seeing it up to that point. And I wanted to know what you thought about that read on that film. For, for me, in the playing of it, I I, I constantly was having those two things mm. interplaying um, because I think there's a sense of who we are or who we think we are internally, both as you know human beings and as artists, actors, journalists, whatever it is that we do. And then there's how we're perceived. Mm. And there's this strange vertiginous moment where you suddenly often intersect with something you've said or done Mm. or, you know, and then it's been received entirely in an Mm. opposite way, which is almost a nightmarish kind of moment. Mm. And I think that there's there's that, but then there's also a haunting um, of Lydia's uh, past things that she has left unexamined, the lies that she's told herself, which are perhaps more heinous than the ones that she's told Sharon or other people. She's constantly keeping herself at once removed. And so these things, as she's about to turn 50 and reach the zenith of her career, these things come to haunt her in a way. Mm-hmm. So I think I think there's a continual lack of um, or or reality boundary crossing. Like an objective. Yeah, I don't think there's an objective sense of what is real and what is Mm, not. mm. Um, I mean, that's part of being the strange conundrum of being alive. Mm. How much happens up here Mm. and then what happens in Mm, front of us. mm. Mm. With uh, Sharon's character, obviously Mm. there's she's sort of a foil in a way for the audience because that's as close to Lydia as anyone can get, really. Mm -hmm. Um, And yet she's so in the dark. So for you, obviously having knowing the whole kind of arc of the of the film and reading the script how do you balance what you know and then sort of inhabiting this world of this character who is so much in the dark well interesting to the to when i come back to the first question mm. where i think sharon is rooted in reality mm. you know she, she she i think doesn't look for that moment where that get gets mixed up or so i think she's someone who wouldn't allow herself to go there. I, I always think once you see her mother, you know where she's coming from mm. and what the German household is <laughs> that she grew up in and that she freed herself from, but is still decided to do a job, even though it is art, but within an institution, you know, and finding her powerful, strong way within it, but still there's a certain sense of safety mm. um, that she has. and. Um, so in that in that way she's a she's a, a counter uh, like a contrapunct mm. <laughs> to to Lydia who in a way has no other chance as to give in t- to what we see in the film mm. that in this moment of her life things slip away or maybe she makes them slip right. away you know yeah. and all this so um for for me it was just I needed to know what I thought Sharon knows or mm-hmm. doesn't know, what she asked and what she didn't ask. Mm. But I wouldn't say, right, right, <laughs> because it it doesn't matter, right. It's um, but she's an she's an a grown woman who's not naive and mm. and innocent. Mm. Um, yeah, because she's she's complicit a little bit in exactly. that dynamic. That's, yeah. that's what I was looking mm. for yeah. also within that, you know. Yeah. and so you just tag along we had the opportunity to be really nearly co- uh, in continuous uh, no we didn't we there didn't were really sections jump we around. did it in sections yeah, yeah. Mm. so you could explore it really right, with right. the two mm. um of how the relationship uh, evolves mm. and how we mm. dance with each other you know mm. Mm.